Hi there, I'm Dino Minoxilis. I'm Dom Liberati. Uh, I would like to introduce to you and the entire Ampeg world, the Ampeg SGTDI. The SGTDI represents a whole new chapter for Ampeg. It employs a number of state-of-the-art modern features never before found in any Ampeg product, while remaining loyal to some of the classic legacy features that have made Ampeg the bass amplification so many bass players have come to know, love, and trust. Okay, so I heard you say modern, state-of-the-art, and legacy all in the same sentence, yes. so please explain. Yes, so the SGTDI is a culmination of years of analog preamp development, as well as cutting-edge digital technology, like the ability to load or customize impulse responses, or IRs. So yeah, an impulse response, or an IR, is basically a digital footprint of a cab and how that cab reacts to an input signal. And this pedal has impulse responses in it. Yes, it actually has six on board, and we'll get into details about that in a second. But I just want to highlight that prior to the SGTDI, Ampeg has never had uh, any physical product that has IR loading or IR customization in it. Um, so it's not your old man's SVT or B15, though actually it still can be. So there you go again, calling me old. Thanks, buddy. Well, don't let the technology scare you. Uh, this is still as simple as any turn knob, preamp, amplifier, or pedal. SGTDI can be used in so many different applications. It really becomes a command center for just about any situation. One of our main goals with the pedal was to offer a portable preamp and a DI pedal that's packed with features for today's modern bass player. We wanted this pedal to appeal not just to Ampeg loyalists like you and I, but to every player who's looking to take their sound to the next level in terms of portability and ease of use. And of course, of course, not forgetting our heritage, offer the Ampeg player a completely new experience by giving them a blend of analog technology with this new digital IR technology. Correct, yeah. So let's start first with our preamp. So the SGTDI features our Ampeg Legacy preamp. This is the preamp that you're uh, going to see in Pro Series, Portaflex, Classic, but with some nuanced changes. We have the three-way ultra low, which actually interacts with the mid as well. So that's what you'll see on like the Heritage 50th Anniversary SVT. Uh, we have the ultra high switch, and then we have, of course, our three-band EQ, but the mid-range is now a dual concentric sweepable mid. And obviously we know as, as important as bass and treble is, it's always a properly dialed in mid-range. It's gonna get you heard through a mix. So let's talk about the SGT circuit now. SGT is actually short for Super Grit Technology. It's a relatively new circuit that we designed for the rocket bass combos, which is also an all analog circuit that allows you to dial in just the right amount of grit and blend it with your clean signal. But don't let the word grit fool you. The SGT circuit is essentially just emulating the harmonic distortion of say a vintage B15 or an SVT. Okay, all right. So I'm on B15, it's a fairly light setting, so this is gonna be more like, uh, you know, the B15's turned up a little bit, but you're not really overdriving it. You're just getting that fat kind of tube low end to it. And then on the higher range of the distortion, we're gonna go into our 810 cab here. Okay. Just to play through like a monster stack kind of feel, and I'm gonna crank the grid up all the way and turn it to the SVT voicing and check that out. Cool, I, I like the fact that you can switch between the SVT and the B15 or not have either one engaged. That's really cool. Okay, so now can we talk about the impulse responses? Yes, absolutely. So here on this left panel, you're gonna see a three-way cab mode switch. This allows you to choose between uh, three factory Ampeg IRs and three user customizable IRs. And like I said, the SGTDI is the first physical product for Ampeg that actually has an IR loader on board. So it's six IRs on board. Okay, so if I have my own IRs of cabinets that I like, I can load them into this pedal? Yes, absolutely. You can do that through our Ampeg IR loader software, which is totally free. And you can actually set things like high and low cut per cab, as well as the level per cab. But it also, on board of the actual uh, pedal disconnected from the app, you can set those levels per cab and it actually saves on the device. So it allows for just a smoother transition and auditioning of IRs. Okay, cool. And I can adjust, but I can actually physically adjust the level with that knob on the side of the pedal as yep. well if I want. You can do that and then you can also just turn the uh, cab section off if you want. Oh, okay. So I can select either one of those banks of slots or just turn it completely off. Yep. Cool. So I see this has a comp knob on it as well. Yes. I'm glad you mentioned that. So. We decided just, you know, why not? Let's throw a one knob compressor in there as well, just to make it even more of the all-in-one bass box. Uh, so you'll see in the, on this dual concentric with the volume, 
you have this compressor control, and you can, it's very musical. You can go from a very mild setting all the way up to 10 to one ratio. So that's a one knob compressor. Very, very simple, and that's your threshold LED to know that you're hitting the threshold of the compressor. And if all that isn't enough, we also squeezed in a headphone and aux section with its own level control as well. You can use the SGTDI as a standalone practice tool and play along with an MP3, or you can potentially use the SGTDI as an in-ear monitor mixer. This now gives you complete control of your monitor mix in relation to your bass and your in-ears. How cool is that? Yeah, the SGTDI really is the all-in-one bass box for your entire bass rig. Man, the SGTDI really feels like it's one of those pieces of gear that once you start using it and implementing it in your everyday routines, you'll start to question how you ever got along without it yeah. sort of thing. Yeah. Um, it's really like, it's something every bass player should have in their back pocket or in our cases, our pedal boards or our gig bags. Couldn't agree more, and obviously we're a little biased, but I know you and I are very excited about this pedal. Yeah, of course, you know, that's the, but that's just our opinion. We'll leave it up to you guys to decide for yourselves. Uh, until next time, play more bass.